Hey friends. So this week in our art zoom, we learned about the element of shape. And that is the element we're going to be focusing on this week. And we're also going to be throwing in a little bit of the element of line in our project today. We looked at artist Reggie Lorentz's work, and we're going to use his artwork as an inspiration for our project this week. We are going to be doing a project that looks similar to this. Well, this is my project. And again, there's really no way wrong way to hold it. Reggie Laurent is a modern abstract artist. So our art is abstract art using the element of shape and line. So anyway, um, go ahead and watch this tutorial video. It'll walk you through exactly how to do your art project. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this this week. I had a lot of fun creating mine. All right, let's go ahead and get started. For this week's project, you will need your construction paper, um, particularly many colors and especially a black piece of construction paper for the background. You'll need scissors, a glue stick, crayons or colored pencils, and a white crayon. Go ahead and gather your supplies and we'll get started. So if you remember, um, the artist Reggie Laurent that we talked about this week in our art zoom class, he filled his black canvas with lots and lots of different shapes, both geometric and organic. And um, so what you want to do and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start cutting out some random shapes from my colored paper. And once I have all the shapes cut out that I, um, that I wanna have cut out, I'm gonna arrange them onto the black construction paper. So go ahead and cut out whatever kind of fun shapes that you would like to cut out. Um, this is an organic shape because it has uh, curvy flowing edges and it is not symmetrical and it's a little bit irregular. Whereas this is a geometric shape. These are the shapes you're familiar with in math. Um, triangles, squares, rectangles, uh, circles, ovals. So like I said, cut out a variety of different shapes. Here's another geometric shape. I'm gonna cut out a rectangle and um, just kind of have fun with the shapes that you're cutting out. And um, you wanna cut a lot of different ones and you want to cut them in different sizes. And um, you also wanna have a variety of color. So I'm going to finish this up in high speed. Once you have all your shapes cut out, you're going to want to begin to um, arrange them on your paper in a way that um, you really like. But you will need to leave some black spaces in between your shapes, just like Reggie Laurent did, um, because in between those black spaces is where we're going to use our white crayon to draw the what he called the thread that tied all the pieces together. So go ahead and arrange your shapes on your paper uh, in a way that you like. And then once you have them arranged, you're gonna glue them down. And I'm gonna go ahead and work on this part in high speed. Once you have finished gluing down your geometric and organic shapes, um, and remember we're focusing on the element of shape 
this week, um, we are going to add in the element of art that we looked at last week. We're gonna add in line on top of our shapes. Now you can, uh, you've practiced um, with line um, a while ago, um, but we are going to, and I know last week you did straight lines, but this week we're gonna do all sorts of lines. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take either a crayon or a colored pencil, and you are going to start going over your shapes with as many different kinds of lines as you can think of. Now, obviously you can see that right now on this green rectangle, I decided to use a red colored pencil and I am drawing zigzag shapes. But I want you to experiment with your um, lines to make your shapes even more interesting by overlaying the element of line on top of your element of shape. So you don't have to stop there. You can go back in and if you want to um, add different kinds of line, I'm gonna do some swirlies in here. You just want to add different details and various lines on top of your artwork shapes to make it interesting, which is a little bit like what Reggie Laurent did. After he painted his shapes, uh, he would go in and he would add line and detail to his existing shapes. So that is what your next step is in this project, is to fill up all of your shapes with different lines. Now don't get lazy in this part, um, because you really want to, this is where your artwork can really, really pop. So I'll be curious to see what kind of creative lines you come up with. Um, I'm gonna put some swirls in here. Uh-oh, didn't glue that down well enough. I'm gonna put some swirls in here on my heart. You don't have to use the same color um, on your same shape. You can use uh, different colors and switch it up. And um, just have fun with it. Just have fun decorating your shapes with the element of line. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this part in high speed. So, here we go. Once you have finished adding the lines to your shapes, we are going to do our very, very last step. <clears throat> and it is a step that really um, imitates Reggie Lorenz's work. We're going to use our white crayon and we're just gonna come in into these black spaces that are in between our shapes and just randomly do lines, any kind of squiggly, lines that you would like to connect, or I think as Reggie Laurent put it, sew together our shapes. So again, you can do all kinds of squiggly lines going around. And we want to use that line to sew together our shapes. So here we go. I'll go ahead and finish this up once again in high speed. So here we have my completed um, project inspired by artist Reggie Laurent, who we looked at in our art Zoom class. Um, Again, we used or organic shapes, 
which are shapes that are found in nature that are not symmetrical and they're irregular and flowing. We also used geometric shapes and then we tied them all together with line, with a white line, like Reggie Laurent said, it was just like a thread tying together his shapes. So you have successfully used the element of shape and line in your project today. And um, as always, go ahead and upload them to the art wall. Please don't forget to put your name above your project when you are typing in and uploading your work. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do. Have fun with this. And I will see you next week in Zoom. Bye. Thank you.